We all love being lazy. Whether you want to admit it or not, I can guarantee that most people would be a happier person if you could just cruise through life in the most comfortable way possible without having to exert any real effort. I mean, it's not like we don't already see forms of that in real life right now. Like I could just get in my car and drive to that deli spot around the corner and get that Philly cheesesteak, but am I going to do that instead of door dashing this meal? <laughs> No. As people, you know, we're always looking to do things that we do on a regular basis in the most convenient way possible. And definitely one of the most common activities that we've gained strides on in convenience is gaming. You know, more specifically, portable gaming. Now, I've talked about a lot of portable and handheld gaming in the channel in the past. And like I've said before, outside of Nintendo's devices, there was a time where I thought, you know, that shit was dead. I'm not even gonna hold you. That little awkward period after the PS Vita kind of just disappeared like a pen and teller trick out of the spotlight had me thinking that the good old days of gaming on the go were on the way out the door. But luckily, you know, I couldn't have been more wrong. Because, I mean, look at us right now. The handheld gaming market hasn't been this competitive in years. I mean, we've got the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, the Logitech G Club. That one doesn't really count. Of course, the Nintendo Switch and many, many more. It's a good period for the handhelds in the market, but the general consensus when deciding which one of them to buy mostly goes to the Steam Deck as it has basically every feature you would need. It's already backed by one of the biggest online game markets in existence and it's priced at a point where it's damn near unbeatable when compared to the majority of the competition. Seriously, that price market is wicked. But all of that might be changing in the coming months after a recent reveal or I should say leak of a new device in town that aims to take over that glorious spot of best gaming handheld in the market. You see, tech company Lenovo has decided to dip their toes once again into this pool of convenient gaming. If that name sounds familiar, Lenovo is the company behind the PC gaming line called Legion, which has pre-built in laptops that I uh, wouldn't personally use but you know hey man personal preference and they've had a whole bunch of other tech adventures in the past but nothing really like their leaked legion go device that from what i've seen you know it looks like something that could actually hurt the steam deck as far as competition because it's doing something that damn near assures it to be worth comparing which is stealing. Well, not necessarily stealing, but based on these leaks by Windows report, the Legion Go is taking designs from the best hardware out right now, like the detachable Joy-Cons similar to the Nintendo Switch. These Joy-Cons, of course, have your classic bumpers and D-pad along with the operational buttons, but unfortunately, it only has one trackpad on the right stick, which falls short of the two on the Steam Deck, so I guess they didn't steal enough swag for the Joy-Cons. Anyways, flipping the device to the top and we're seeing more common features like the speakers, the volume button, the power button, and the USB-C port for charging. And at the bottom, we see another USB-C port, which we're, we're gonna come back to later. So don't forget about that. Obviously, the device is gonna have a 16-9 or 16-10 aspect ratio with a bigger screen than most of the competition sitting at eight inches. And, having bezel small as hell too, so the gaming experience is gonna be at its peak. Oh, and touchscreen, can't forget about touchscreen. Now, as far as hardware goes, or you know, what's inside the device, the rumors we have right now says it's gonna have Windows 11 out the box and the AMD Ryzen Z1 processor, especially designed for handheld gaming. In, uh, what does that even mean terms? Basically, from what we know, it should be able to run all modern AAA games at a medium to high settings fluidly, but of course, we don't know for sure since we can't benchmark anything right now. But Lenovo is still common to that PC gaming, so, you know, I'm sure we can expect decent quality as far as the actual game experience goes. Now, back to that second USB-C port that we talked about earlier. Now, obviously, one port is going to be used for charging, but why the hell would you need two of them? Well, that's because the leak also states that the device is likely going to have something that the competing handhelds don't, and that's the ability to pair a Lenovo augmented reality glasses to even further immerse yourself in gaming. Now again, if you're out the loop, basically AR glasses allow you to bring your screen or you know programs outside of your device and in your perspective into the real world, which is hella sick to see and could possibly make you sick if you have motion sickness. Not much info is known on these AR glasses right now, like if you know if they're included or you know the specs on them, but it was stated that Lenovo wants to make their own ecosystem of devices and the AR glasses is just one of the projects that they want to easily be used with the handheld. So 
you know, it sounds ambitious and new to the market of portable gaming, which is always welcome. So that's all the main things that we have right now that's, you know, been leaked. And the only thing we have left that would like to make a difference outside of the specs on this device is the price tag on this thing. Since, you know, like I said, right now, the Steam Deck has a pretty unbeatable price for its handheld. So if the Legion Go can get something similar or, you know, maybe even better than that, then we may be seeing the next best handheld in the market. So what do you guys think about the Legion Go, man? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one.